Common sayings of lost people, number 10. You are a self-righteous Pharisee. You come to me and you're talking to me about this Bible and this, this you know, doctrine and all this. Stuff. You're a self-righteous Pharisee. Well, let's actually see what the Bible says about the Pharisees. Matthew chapter 15, verses 1 through 9. Then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy tr disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? They didn't say scripture. The tradition of the elders. For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? I saw some atheist fool the one time, and he said, Jesus was not even aware of just simple, you know, germs and things and stuff like this. And the Pharisees, they were smart. They, they were doctors, and they, they had an understanding that you should wash your hands before you eat because of germs. And Jesus didn't understand that. Okay, simpleton, um, that's not what the Scripture is saying. It's talking about ceremonial washing, which was a tradition of the elders. Going through this big elaborate ritual of washing the hands and things like that. It's not talking about, hey, my hands are really dirty here. I was cleaning out the horse stall or something. I better wash up before you. That's not what it's talking about. But why would you think that an atheist would understand the Scriptures? Because they're dead in trespasses and sins. Verse 4. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. And honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. That's a Pharisee. Somebody that comes along and they say, my tradition trumps scripture. The Catholic Church believes that divine tradition is above the sacred scriptures. Well, you know, yeah, the Bible's good, but, but we have our uh, catechism. Yeah, the Bible's good, but we have our Book of Mormon. Yeah, the Bible's good, but we have our Whatever. Put whatever you want over top of it. Those are Pharisees. I'm not a Pharisee. Why? There's nothing above the book. The book is above me. You understand? I'm judged by this book. I don't come along and say, I'm going to correct this book. That's the difference. Verse 7. Matthew chapter 15, verse 7. Ye hypocrites... Well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. For in, or, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. These, this book here is not the commandments of men. This is Holy Scripture. This is the highest authority to myself as a Bible-believing Christian, and you if you're a King James Bible believer out there. But if you go to some of these other church denominations and whatever else, oh my no. You overthrow this whenever it crosses your feelings. Yeah. Who's the self-righteous Pharisee again? Uh-oh. You see, you don't like it because I contradict things that are purely based on your traditions. You say, like what? How about the sacraments? No sacraments. How about uh, the Holy Trinity? No Holy Trinity. Not one verse of Scripture says Holy Trinity. And when you actually get into the teachings of it, it is completely satanic and heretical. This thing of these three gods and whatever else. It's nonsense. And they say, well, we don't believe in three gods. Yes, you do. you three persons, but there's only one God. Then each one can't be God. You get into the whole thing. It's ridiculous. But my point is, this is the highest authority to a Bible-believing Christian. I'm not a Pharisee. But when you add these other things to the Scriptures, you are the Pharisee. Luke 18, verse 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Self-righteous Pharisees. Two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Right there. That's what you're going to hear from lost people. Oh, well, at least I'm not like so-and-so. Hey, I've never killed anybody. I'm not like a Hitler or something. You know why? They're self-righteous. Self-righteous. Well, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm, I might not be a saint. A lot of truth in that. But I'm not like, or, or, you see? 
Verse 12, I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Pharisees like to do that. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote it upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Yeah. If you're saved, you'll, uh, you'll understand that. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Not, well, God, be merciful to those wicked people that have influenced me. No, be merciful to me. I want your mercy, God. What about the other people? Well, we'll get to them later. I'll try to witness to them. I need to be saved. See? Giving up self-righteousness. Verse 14. I tell you, this man, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Bible believers don't exalt themselves. They exalt a book. King James Bible. But you, lost person out there, you like to exalt yourself, don't you? Your education, your uh, <clears throat> science, <laughs> uh, your uh, catechism, your traditions, your whatever. You better be careful or you're going to end up in hell for all of eternity. Self-righteous Pharisee. 